the last video of determinant we discussed about the minus and cofactors of a matrix and in this video we will discuss about the adjoint of a matrix look at here adjoint of a matrix let a equal to a i z be a square matrix of order m and c i z be the cofactors of a i z m a then the transpose of the cofactor matrix transpose of the matrix of cofactors of elements of a is defined as as the adjoint of a and it is denoted by a dj of a thus adjoint of a is equal to the transpose of c i z matrix that means which is equal to c j i let's for example if a is a matrix having a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a three two, a three three, j three cross three square matrix. Then adjoint of A is equal to the transpose of C one one, C one two, C one three, C two one, C two two, C two three, C three one, C three two, C three three. Is transpose which is equal to C one one, C one two, C one three, C two one, C two two, C three three, sorry, C two three and C three one, C three two, C three three, where C I J is the cofactor of A I J. That means adjoint of the matrix is obtained by the transposing the cofactor matrix of A. Let's see an example. Let P be a matrix P Q R S. In this matrix, the cofactor of P, that means C one one is equal to S and C two one two that means cofactor of Q is equal to minus R and C two one equal to cofactor of R is equal to minus Q and C two two is equal to cofactor of S is equal to P. Thus, adjoint of A is equal to cofactor of P that means C one one S. This one minus R minus Q P is transpose that is equal to S minus Q minus R P. Okay. See a question here. The question is find the adjoint of the matrix A. Look at here. For finding the adjoint, we have to first find the cofactors of the elements of this matrix. Let's see the solution. Let 
Cij with the cofactor of Aij in A, then the cofactors of elements are given by so get a C11 that means the cofactor of 1 which is equal to 9. We have already discussed how to find the cofactor of the elements. So these are the cofactors of the elements of matrix A. So thus adjoint of A is equal to look at here 9 this one minus 3 this one 5 minus 1 4 this one minus 3 and this one minus 4 5 and minus 1 it's transpose this is look at here this is the cofactor matrix of A and its transpose is given by the adjoint of A that means adjoint of A is given by 9 minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 4 5 and 5 minus 3 minus 1 so in this process we can find the adjoint of a matrix now next discuss a property the property is let Let A be a square matrix of order M, then A into adjoint of A, which is equal to adjoint of A into A is equal to determinant of A into I M, where I n so the identity matrix of order n that means if a be a square matrix of order n then a times adjoint a is equal to adjoint a times a is equal to determinant of a into the identity matrix let's see the proof let A is equal to Aij be a square matrix of order M and Cij be the cofactors Aij in A then as per definition, adjoint of A is equal to the matrix Cji for all 1 less than or equal to i and j less than or equal to n. We had already discussed this definition that adjoint of A is the transpose of cofactor matrix Cij that means Cji. Now, A into adjoint of A which is equal to look at here A is a square matrix of order n plus n let it may be A11 one one, A12 up to A1n similarly A21 A22 up to A2n similar manner we get AN1 AN2 to ANN it multiplies with adjoint A that means write the adjoint C11 C12 up to C1N and C21 C22 C2N this one CN1 CN2 up to CN now multiply these two look at here for multiplication, we have to multiply the first row of this matrix with the first column of this matrix. So look at here. Here we get A11 into C11 plus A12 into C12 plus up to A1n into C11. As we know that if we, mul if we multiply the elements of a row with the corresponding cofactors, 
and sum them then we get that determinant so in this case in the first place we get determinant of x similarly as we know that the sum of the product of elements of any row or column with the corresponding cofactors then we get the determinant similarly if we multiply the sum of the product of elements of any row with cofactors of any other row then the sum is equal to 0 so in the second place we get 0 and all the places became 0 after that multiplying the second row with the first column we get 0 and second row with the second column that means the elements of second row multiply with the corresponding cofactors then it becomes determinant of n and rest are 0 So similarly, we get a n plus n matrix whose diagonals are determinant of a. So now, taking common determinant of a, we get an identity matrix of order n. So here we show that a into adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a into I n. That means We show that a into adjoint a is equal to determinant of a into I n. Similarly, we can show that adjoint of a into a is equal to determinant of a into I n by using this same procedure. Okay. Let's see a question which is repeatedly asked in CSC and CBSC board exam and short type question. Let A B A square matrix of order three and determinant of A is equal to five. Then find the then find A into adjoint of A. Look at here. In this, in the last property, we show that a times adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a into I n, where n is the identity matrix of order n same as of a. That means here is the identity matrix of order three. So look at here. He is asked about the value of a into adjoint a. So a into adjoint a becomes a determinant a is equal to five. Five times identity matrix of order three, which is equal to five into one zero 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 one zero plus zero zero one, which is equal to five zero 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 five zero 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 five. In two thousand twenty. CHSC exam, it is asked about the determinant of a into adjoint. In this case, if we find the determinant of a into adjoint, that must be equal to determinant of five zero 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 five zero 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 five. That means, look at here. This is a diagonal matrix having diagonal elements five five five. Both is a scalar matrix, so it is determinant is product of Diagonal element that means five into five into five that means one twenty five. This is the most repeated question asked in CHSC board exam.